This is something that I've been waiting for a little while now. Straight from Nerf Ezekiel. And as you might gather from me unraveling it, it is the Chrono Mag Kit. So this is a 3D printed adapter to convert your Chronos to fire rival round. Uh, to fire short darts. Oh dear. And that's unfortunately already snapped, but that's okay. And just unravel the rest of this without trying to break anything else. Whoops. So we've got the main magwell, and this will fit into the Kronos itself. And then we have our pusher, which sits just here. And then we have our barrel. It should just sit here, and then there's a screw on top to secure it. And, oh, I see. That's actually to go on here. Okay, well, let's get started. We've got here a stock as a block Kronos. This hasn't even been disassembled yet. Now, looking from the mod guide, the first step is to get this fitted on. So it's made to be a bit flexible so it can get into the grooves just in there. We will need a little bit of help. I got this at a sale at Aldi and got f about four or five of them at the time. And when I was asked about why I was getting so many by the cashier, I just looked them straight in the eyes and said, It's my vice. A different marker, perhaps. So this is meant to be, as I understand, a rough guide because there is a bit more finer tuning needed later on. Uh, but to about here. Oops. And then here we have the final result. With the cutting, you can actually afford to be a little bit more aggressive with how much shell you take off. You can see there's quite a bit of overlap with the bottom of the magwell. 
towards the back of though you might want to be a little bit more conservative about the cuts it really depends on whether you care all that much about the final look and to be honest it's a small area that no one's really going to notice the kit originally comes with a 20 centimeter barrel i decided to chuck in this barrel uh, was from the prophecy kit it was sitting around and thought why not i did originally put in a 40 centimeter barrel which was hilarious but at the performance actually took a bit of a hit and i have taken off the front um, tack rail just so that you can actually look inside as a bit of a quick check to see whether you've got a dart loading up you can also kind of see through here as well if you look closely as well you can see the slight boo, boo I made where I had a little bit of an accident where I accidentally pressed the trigger when I had the slide prime back of course it shot forward and hit here next thing I know I fire it and there's a piece of plastic that came out so there normally should be two o-rings there there's now only one yet miraculously it still actually works quite well there's a reasonably good air seal and that's just with one o-ring I've also got on here the worker t-pull and I think it's either a 14 or an 18 kilogram spring the other really neat thing about this is that it's a universal magwell which means you can use both firm and yank it out as well and the katana which can't quite be yanked out So overall, really, really liking this kit. It I've not tried doing a chronomag manually, but uh, this just seems a whole lot more easier. Um, in terms of the costs, I'd say it's weighed up by a few factors. So I got it for about let's say a hundred dollars Australian delivered and um, granted that was with a few other bits and pieces and it was also a I'm impatient give it to me now postal method even with that in mind the closest kit um, that I could find at least was uh, the one available on NF strike which already is about fifty dollars uh, well, 60 if you get the adapter uh, shipped. And the downside uh, with using that adapter is the whole yanking system, which I really do not like. I think it's about um, how much you value time or how much you want to tinker around yourself. And then in terms of obligatory FPS readings I've got an average of 186 uh, with worker darts and to be expected uh, the ACC 3s did uh, give a higher average of 205. On a suggestion by Ezekiel I lubed the barrel with PTFE spray and it did help to bump up the FPS reading a bit. I will need to actually do some further testing to see how far this is sustained uh, but he seemed to indicate that you basically just uh, give a spray before uh, each event that you play at